I'm going to be showing you guys how you can add or import tokens into your MetaMask wallet. Welcome to the CryptoQ channel. So in this video, we are going to be covering four methods that are going to help you do this. If one method doesn't work, the other is likely to work. We are going to start off from the easiest down to one that will require more steps than every other before it. So the first method is to do with the auto detect function in the MetaMask wallet. This particular function allows MetaMask to scan and find any new tokens that have been added to your wallet. It is a small button in the security and privacy section in the MetaMask wallet and I want to show you exactly how to access that and turn it on. Okay, so in order to do this, we would need to come into our MetaMask wallet. And as you can see here, I have my Ethereum mainnet uh, selected. That's the blockchain that I'm using right now. Now, in order to go ahead and add or import tokens using the auto detect feature, you come to this uh, profile icon at the top, click on it and then come to the settings option below here. You see the security and privacy option. So you click that and then you scroll down until you get to a point that says auto detect tokens. So here you can see that they'll be able to display new tokens that have been sent to your wallet as they have mentioned here. And that is the first way you click this, it turns on and then you go to your list and then you make sure you refresh this list in order to be able to display any new tokens that have been sent to your wallet. The second method is using the search feature on MetaMask. Now this particular method is different in the sense that um, it will require that the first method is actually used in order to have it be available to all the blockchains you have in your MetaMask wallet. Because MetaMask is built to handle uh, Ethereum based cryptocurrencies, you find that the Ethereum mainnet has certain privileges such as having the auto detect feature automatically turned on for it even without turning it on in the settings. Now with other blockchains on the MetaMask wallet, it's not that straightforward. Let me first show you what I mean in the Ethereum blockchain. With Ethereum, in order to access that search feature, you need to scroll down and come to import tokens. Once you click that, you'll see that two options will appear. There'll be the search function and then there'll be the custom token function. We're going to talk about that later. For now, let's focus on the search function. Here you can see what I already mentioned. The enhanced token detection is currently available on Ethereum mainnet. So say I want to add the BNB token to my Ethereum blockchain. Here I will type in BNB and you can see it appears here. If I want to add it, I click on it and then I click next. Here you'll see that it will appear and then I'll be given the option to import tokens. Once I click on it, it will appear among the options on my MetaMask list, as you can see here. You can see right here it has popped up, so BNB. Now, let's go and take a look at other blockchains and how we can go about ensuring that we can use the search feature to add tokens to them as well. So let's go to the Polygon blockchain. Here you can see that you can import tokens. Once you click, only one option appears, which is custom token. Now, let me show you how you can add the search feature to the Polygon blockchain as well. And any other blockchain you have, I have the BSC uh, blockchain right here, the Binance Smart Chain blockchain. So to do this, you go with the first step, go to settings, and then you come security and privacy, and then you turn on the auto detect tokens feature here. Once you click on it, you see, come back right here, and now, you will have that option. You come to the import tokens option and you will have the search function actually enabled on your Polygon blockchain. So make sure to keep the auto detect feature turned on if you're going to use the search method. So we are going to now move to the third method you can use to add or import tokens to your MetaMask wallet. So the third option is called custom token. You add a custom token to the blockchain. And in order to access this feature, you need to scroll down and come to the import tokens uh, option again. You click on that. And then instead of using the search feature, you come to the custom token feature. Once you click on that, it will bring you to a page that shows that you need to add a token contract address. And then you see that the token symbol will appear as soon as you add a token contract address. So where do you find the contract address? You go to a block explorer, for example, Polygon scan, BSC scan, or ether scan as well. We're going to use polygon scan. As you can see, we are on the polygon blockchain, so it makes more sense. You can see that here we have our token. It's called Raptmatic. So if you want to find a particular token, for example, if it's on the polygon blockchain, you come to polygon scan, you would search here, and then the options would be brought, right? So let's say I'm looking for Raptmatic. You can see it appeared here. So once I click on it, it brings me to the page I was on before. Now, what you need is this. This is the contract address. So 
you come to the side here and click copy address and then you come to the import tokens option as shown before and then you click on custom token this is where you put in the contract address and once that's put in the token symbol populate by itself and the token decimal will also populate by itself so you can see it's wrapped matic and then we add custom token so once you click add import the token now this will be the final step and once you click that you see that your wrapped matic or the token that you've added has been listed among your options here you can see that a new option has been listed the fourth and final method is actually going to be using a block explorer as shown before block explorers are basically platforms that allow you to access all blockchain transactions on that particular blockchain so here we're going to use polygon scan what you do is come to the three dots here on the profile summary and click them and then you see the option here to add token to web3 wallet so we shall click that so as you can see here it has popped up in our metamask wallet and then you click add token that is the process to actually adding the token from the block explorer with different block explorers that will be the method so that is how you add or import tokens to your metamask wallet those are the four options if you're stranded those should give you a way to add a token one of them will work for you other than that if you're new to metamask and you're trying to learn about the platform maybe you've been hearing about how it can be useful to you as a crypto enthusiast or someone that is uh, interested in using cryptocurrency or the blockchain space for whatever purpose then you can go ahead and click this video on the screen right now